Feel me? Mm -hmm. okay. Hello guys, welcome to the Luna Tour. Today I'm going to teach you how to ski in one minute. From a beginner, I only skied one day in my life, but this is what I learned in one day. Uh, so the first thing is walking. To walk, if you turn to my feet, you just walk as if you're like a penguin and you turn your knees inwards and then you like move forward. Okay, to the number two, when you wanna break, if you're moving forward, you cross your knees inwards and your toes pointing like inwards as well. Like you don't have to have like crossed legs, but like point them inwards and then you stop. And if you're going backwards, do the opposite. Put your heels inward and your toes outwards. And that's how you stop when going backwards. And to turn right, you basically have to stretch your leg out and pull this leg in like you're going to bike. And then you'll turn right. And for left, you do the opposite. You extend this leg outwards and you turn this leg in like up. So you release the pressure in this leg and you put all the pressure here. Okay, so guys, so that was everything and how to ski in one minute um, from an amateur skier. Okay, thank you. Bye. So let's just go. Let's just be free. Okay guys, so I thought I would um, talk over this uh, clip to give you like more information. So this is just us um, sledding here as a break after like heavy ski practicing. I really recommend like walking away for a bit when you're like just started to ski just to have like some extra fun with some stuff that are like easier. Um, I mean, I didn't get frustrated, but it was definitely fun and it taught me to like like sliding down the snow, especially if you haven't done it ever before, um, like to get a bit of the fear out and like uncertainty of what would happen if you slide down. So these like child uh, play things really helped with um, the mindset like getting comfortable on the snow itself um, because you get really close to the ground and you kind of feel the speed in a more controlled and safe environment, I would say. I mean, I felt unsafer doing this than doing what, I'm, what you're seeing here now, like skiing. So I think that really helped uh, with the mindset because as soon as I got back on the skis, as you can see here, I felt a bit safer. I think these were one of my first uh, runs. As you can see, I am stopping with my right leg by extending it, and uh, there I stop with my left leg by extending it and like pulling up on my right leg. And here you will see the first uh, turn in a few seconds. I think this was in the beginning. I have I used like uh, sticks. I don't know, ski poles. I have trekking poles, but these are ski poles. I still don't know the difference. They are a bit thinner than my uh, trekking poles. But from a beginner and from someone that has only skied like a day, uh, my recommendation is to not use the ski poles if you're gonna ski for the first time. Me personally, especially if you already do um, other sports that are like more free i would say because skis you're really strapped into like some stuff in your feet so if you're used to like being free with your sports the skis will feel restrictive um at first and also to be honest the ski poles also felt a bit restrictive oh, yeah the ski poles also felt a bit restrictive so 
Um, later, I dumped the ski poles and immediately I felt uh, more in control and I got the hang of things uh, pretty easier and I got a bit more comfortable and picked up speed as well, uh, even. And also with skis, like you kind of have to use your body to move and control it. So then that was a pretty good way to uh, feel control. Um, just checking if my voice is recording here. Uh, I think so. So I think everything was okay. But yeah, here as you can see, I go really slowly and then I turn left. So what I'm doing when I turn uh, right, or now left, what I'm doing is like I'm extending as I explained in the first. And if you're a mountain biker, um, like me, the way I put it in my head was like when you're turning on a mountain bike in those uh, tight banks, it's kind of the same because when you're turning on a mountain bike, you also extend the opposite leg that you're going uh, at. So as soon as I thought about that, it got a lot easier. Um, over here, you're seeing my girlfriend uh, going pretty, uh, pretty fast. I think I went faster, but we didn't record it. But she uh, has much more control than me. And that's why she's going down like the long path. And you can see she's using the methods like stopping here by crossing or pointing the legs inwards. Uh, so yeah, thank you, bye.